How will Gamora View get on up? Directed by Tate Taylor, a biopic on James Brown's rise to fame whilst becoming one of the most influential musical artists of all time. Alright, so since it is now August, we are now in this transitioning period where we're going to start seeing more movies like Get On Up, movies that are basically going to be trying to garner some kind of award buzz. So needless to say, unless TMNT and that one tornado movie by Legendary Pictures are good, the summer movie season, for me at least, has officially ended with Guardians of the Galaxy, a fantastic way to close out a fantastic summer. But moving on to James Brown, the godfather of funk, I didn't really know too much about James Brown going into this film. I do like his music, but I've never really done a whole lot of research on him. And with that said, I do want to say that this film did a good job at really kind of filling in a few cracks and kind of informing me who James Brown was as a person. However, even with that said, there are some things that I do wish that the film had explained a little better, which I will get into a little later, but for now, I just want to talk about the movie itself. This movie is exactly what a film about James Brown should be like. It's very fun, it's entertaining, it's quite funny. It's also very energetic, expressive, and very loud. And it's also quite musical and very funky. And it's so much so, it's almost as if James Brown himself was actually directing the film. This movie does a great job musically, and I think it does a really good job with being engaging, but really where this film flourishes is with its lead, Chadwick Boseman, as James Brown. Chadwick Boseman is purely electrifying as he does a non-characteristic portrayal of James Brown. The walk, the talk, and the dance moves are all down to a very naturalistic T. And what's amazing is that Chadwick Boseman doesn't really look anything like James Brown whatsoever, except, you know, with the use of prosthetics and makeup, he looks a little bit more like James Brown, but even then, the prosthetics and the makeup aren't exactly the best, but you buy into it because Chadwick Boseman is just so incredible in the film. Now, I can't necessarily say the same for the film, but unless there's just some remarkably amazing performances this year, there's really no doubt in my mind that Chadwick Boseman will get nominated for an Academy Award because he's just that good. Now, I'm not entirely sure that she'll get nominated for an Academy Award, but Viola Davis is quite excellent in the film as well as she plays James Brown's mother, and she does bring some subtle depth to the character in the film as well. In fact, there's even one scene towards the beginning of the film with her that I actually thought was quite brilliant. As for some other performances, there's also Nelson Ellis who plays Bobby Bird in in the film and you might know him from True Blood as Lafayette and I have to say that it's actually quite great seeing him out of that show and out of that horrendous makeup that he's always having to don because well he looks kind of ridiculous in the show unfortunately. As for one of my other favorite performances one of my favorite scenes you also have Brandon Smith who plays a little Richard which is just freaking fantastic. As for some of the film's problems the movie does play out of chronological order in kind of the weirdest way. The first 15 minutes features James Brown's life as a kid and as an adult and it's literally all over the place going back and forth sideswiping it's quite messy in my opinion and I did find it to be a bit distracting however after that first 15 minutes the movie does start to kind of mellow out there's also this problem with how the film just completely glosses over James Brown's spousal abuse I mean there's a scene in the film where it just literally glosses over it in order to basically preserve James Brown's image and integrity Plus, there's some things that aren't explained in the film all too well either, like James Brown had wives that would quite literally appear and disappear without any kind of explanation. Kids, uh, they only show his kids once, and from what I understand, James Brown had a bit of a coke addiction, and the film does not showcase that whatsoever. However, the film does show him rolling up a joint, but that's about it, and quite frankly, that's not the same thing. To put it bluntly, the film does go to dark places, however, it does hold a lot back to sort of retain that kind of lightheartedness for really the family. Overall, Get On Up is a very fun biopic that has a lot of entertainment to offer, and it's quite funny as well. I do recommend it. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. As always, I'm Colin Kirkland, and thank you so much for watching.